Imagine you were in a boat that can travel underwater, hidden from the enemy and armed with powerful weapons. You are in a submarine, one of the most fascinating and deadly inventions in history. But how did submarines come to be from simple wooden vessels to nuclear powered monsters? Well, let's watch a submarine now and see what, uh, what would uh, happen under full activity. The first serious discussion of a submarine, a craft designed to be navigated underwater, appeared in 1578 by William Bond, a British mathematician and writer on naval subjects. Bond proposed an enclosed boat that could be submerged and rowed underwater. It consisted of a wooden frame covered with waterproof leather. But he did not construct his boat. Between 1620 and 1624, Cornelis Treble, a Dutch engineer, built several wooden submersibles. Powered by fixed paddles and sealed with greased leather, it could dive underwater. He showed his invention to King James I of England and other spectators by diving up to 15 feet deep in the Thames River for several hours. While Treble submarines had no weapons or military purpose, they inspired other inventors to experiment with underwater navigation. The first submarine used in combat was the Turtle, invented by an American, David Bushnell, during the American Revolution. The Turtle was a one-man wooden vessel shaped like an egg with a handcraft propeller and a foot-operated radar. It also had a bomb attached to it which was meant to destroy enemy ships. The Turtle was deployed against a British warship in 1776, but it failed to attach the bomb to the ship due to its iron reinforcement. It was later sunk by the British, but it proved that submarines could be used as weapons of war. The first successful combat submarine was the CSS Hunley. It was a 40-foot long iron cylinder with a torpedo attached to its bow. On February 17, 1864, CSS Hunley sank the USS U Satonic. However, the Hunley also sank shortly after its attack, killing its entire crew. The Hunley was the first major submarine to sink an enemy ship in wartime, but it also showed the dangers and difficulty of underwater warfare. By the late 19th century, the race to build submarines gathered pace with the introduction of new propulsion systems, fuel and weapons. The first submarine to use an internal combustion engine was the French Gymnote, launched in 1888. The Gymnote had an electric motor powered by batteries that were recharged by a gasoline engine on the surface. It also had a periscope, a device that allowed the submarine to see above water while submerged. The Gymnote was able to travel at a speed of 10 knots and dive up to 100 feet deep. It was also armed with torpedoes, self-propelled underwater missiles that could be launched from tubes. Torpedoes became the primary weapon of submarines as they could inflict more damage than bombs or guns. The first submarine to use diesel engine was the German U-1 launched in 1906. Diesel engines were more efficient and powerful than gasoline engines and they could run on both air and compressed air when submerged. The U-1 had two diesel engines for surface propulsion and two electric motors for underwater propulsion. It also had four torpedo tubes and a deck gun. The U-1 was the prototype of the German U-boats, which became the most feared and effective submarines of World War I and World War II. Germany used its U-boats against the Allied merchant ships which carried vital supplies and troops from America to Britain and France. The submarine warfare reached its peak in 1942 and 43 when the U-boats sank more than 1000 Allied ships in 6 months. This period was known as the Battle of Atlantic or the happy time for the U-boat crews. However, by 1944 and 1945, the tide turned in favor of the Allies as they improved their technologies. The most significant innovation in submarine technology after World War I was the introduction of nuclear power. Nuclear power allowed submarines to operate without air or fuel for months at a time and to travel at higher speeds and greater depths than ever before. The first nuclear-powered submarine was the USS Nautilus, launched by the United States in 1954. The Nautilus had a nuclear reactor that heated water into steam, which powered a turbine that drove a propeller. The Nautilus could travel at speeds of up to 23 knots and dive up to 700 feet deep. It also made history by crossing the North Pole in 1958. 
During the Cold War, the US and the Soviet Union was engaged in a nuclear arms race, building thousands of nuclear weapons and delivery systems. The Soviet submarines had more missiles than their American counterparts, but they were also louder and less reliable. The recent disappearance of the Titan submersible during an expedition to view the Titanic wreckage is a tragic reminder of the dangers and mysteries of the deep sea.